a wonderful person, this is Anton. And so here, a few days ago, I was reading a paper that was discussing various types of evidence we have for the existence of early life on planet Earth. Here we are of course talking about bacterial life, and in this case this paper focuses on various types of minerals and various types of unusual structures discovered in ancient rocks from around the planet. And around the same time, there was this other paper that essentially focused on genetic analysis in order to find out when life on Earth might have started. And surprisingly, the date they came up with seems to be 4.2 billion years. Or basically, according to a lot of these studies, life may have started on planet Earth 4.2 billion years ago, or just 300 million years since the birth of planet Earth. And so if life only needs 300 million years to develop on any planet, that's actually super exciting news for finding extraterrestrial life at some point in the future, like for example on Mars. But then, as I was basically reading all of this and doing a bit more research, I actually discovered an intriguing series of papers from a Japanese researcher, Dr. Suzuki, from the University of Tokyo. And back in 2020, he kind of hit the spotlight when his team conducted an unusual expedition to the Pacific and discovered something super cool. And so here they basically drilled into the ocean floor, going as deep as 125 meters below the sea floor, and then pulled out a few samples, approximately 6 centimeters across. Naturally, because all of this came from the sediment below the ocean floor, a lot of these samples were pretty old. Some of them were 13 million years old, some 33 million years old, and the oldest ones were 104 million years old. And this is something this researcher has been doing for a very long time. And he only had one goal. Find life. Not signs of life, not sediment, actual life. And turns out that, up until this point, he basically failed over and over, but his hypothesis was that it should be possible for bacteria to survive in these conditions and he should be able to find it. And so he developed a new technique where he basically took a slice of a rock, prepared the sample in a similar way, biologists prepared tissue samples, and then analyzed these rocks using typical biological techniques. And while to his surprise, in 2020, he discovered that many of these samples contained a lot of life. Actual life living bacterial organisms. These were single-cell creatures living deep beneath the seafloor, all discovered inside very tiny cracks inside the volcanic rock, with each crack basically being a home to a lot of different bacteria and in some cases presenting such a dense environment that it was actually compared to human gut, approximately 10 billion bacterial cells per cubic centimeter. In comparison, in a typical sea sediment, for example, we usually only find 100 cells per cubic centimeter. And so these were enormous communities. And because many of these cracks were relatively small, only one millimeter across, and over millions of years were filled with various types of clays, it was most likely this clay that provided them with all of the resources and also protected them from everything else. And clays, in general, are known to be somewhat friendly to life. Basically, anytime you find clay, you can usually find a lot of microbes inside of them. And though at first there was maybe a doubt about this, including the fact that maybe these microbes came from somewhere else and were just carried by the current and contaminated these samples over the years, in this case this was not near any hydrothermal vent and there were not a lot of major currents close to this location, so the researchers behind this paper were very confident that the bacteria was most likely in these cracks for millions of years. And because the samples were also quite sterilized before they were used and before the research was conducted, they don't think contamination is the answer. And because of this research, from basically like 4 years ago, they wanted to try this somewhere else and they wanted to see how far they can take it. And well, this time, the destination was South Africa. Specifically the location known as Bushveld, that's known as a geological marvel for a lot of different reasons. Apparently it contains a lot of different minerals, a lot of precious metals, and a lot of rocks here are super old. A lot of deposits here and a lot of rocks are approximately 2 billion years old. And so once again, by using a somewhat similar technique, this time they examined rocks retrieved from approximately 500 meters deep inside these pristine ancient rocks. And though nobody really expected them to find anything, they did. They once again potentially discovered ancient life. You can sort of see these stained cells visible in green. And though this could be contamination, obviously, because of the procedures involved, they actually think these microbes were here when the samples were collected. And most importantly, they also discovered proteins, which of course suggest active genetic processes. Or basically that these cells are still alive. And because of this location, and also because of how these rocks were formed, 
it's believed that they actually have been untouched by anything for this whole time, for 2 billion years. So the chances for this to be contaminated by something else in the last 2 billion years is also extremely low. And though obviously this will require a lot of follow-up studies and a lot of additional research, if actually confirmed, this discovery is absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, think about it. This life existed inside these rocks for 2 billion years and somehow survived this whole time with some of these microbes still basically performing some kind of a metabolism and still creating proteins. And though so far there's been no genetic analysis yet, so we don't actually know exactly what this is, we're probably going to find out more in the next few months. But right now the assumption is that this is going to be entirely different from any microbes existing today, and very likely because of the way they survived. Here the scientists believe that it was actually a combination of extremely slow metabolism and potentially extremely slow evolution, which is usually the case for most of these subsurface bacteria. But I guess more importantly, it once again proves that igneous rocks or volcanic rocks can easily sustain microbial communities for millions and in this case billions of years. Which is honestly really shocking, but is also very inspirational for discovering some kind of an extraterrestrial life somewhere out there. Although once again in this case it wasn't just the rocks, it was also the presence of smactite, a type of a clay mineral where a lot of these bacteria seem to live. And here smactite once again provided them with all of the nutrients and all of the food, but also technically protected them from everything, while also preventing a lot of contamination from outside. And so because of these discoveries, the researcher behind the study now believes that Martian life is almost certain to exist as well. But very likely, in deep underground deposits, in volcanic rocks, very likely mixed with clay. And if by chance we actually don't find anything one day, and Mars seems to be completely sterile, it would actually suggest that maybe something geological on Earth resulted in the formation of life. For example, maybe play tectonics. That's one thing that Mars doesn't have. But at the moment, based on all the facts we have, such as for example that Mars used to have water, Mars used to have volcanoes, and thus very likely has very similar volcanic rocks with clay in them, plus the fact that Earth potentially had life as early as 300 million years after the formation of the planet, altogether this basically suggests that Mars extremely likely has similar conditions somewhere underneath, and thus potentially contains that ancient life too. But obviously the only way we're going to discover it is by somehow drilling into Mars, sometimes in the future, and conducting a very similar experiment with those rocks as well. But this discovery also gives hope to finding life in a lot of other locations, including locations we previously might have thought could be inhospitable. And so if confirmed, this discovery has a lot of implications for a lot of fields of science. I mean, once again, this is a 2 billion year old bacteria, still alive, still kicking, still producing stuff. And so at this point, I'm now going to be looking for more studies from this researcher because I have a feeling he might discover something that's even older or maybe even something more groundbreaking in the next few years. And once he does, I'll definitely talk about it. And so until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow and as always, bye bye.